Over the summer of 2021, we saw many instances in which some airlines were overly ambitious and passengers paid the price. No one likes flight delays or cancellations. Having thousands of Customers stranded and unable to get to their destinations is frustrating and unacceptable, but those disruptions should not lead us to question whether PSP was the right decision. The uh, end of October, we at American had a serious operational issue. Um, it, was, it was driven by an extraordinary event, uh, winds at Dallas-Fort Worth of all places that shut down three of the five runways, our largest hub. Um, when that happens over two days, uh, we end up with airplanes in the wrong place, people in the wrong place. Um, so that was, the, that was the driver of the vast majority of the cancellations. But we, but in this environment, even though we are adequately staffed, it, it gets characterized, uh, it gets unfortunately uncharacterized, it, it misproperly characterized, as we don't have enough people. Um, there has been a looming pilot shortage for the last decade in the United States. And going through COVID, it became an actual pilot shortage. Uh, so all of us, particularly our regional partners, um, simply don't have enough airplanes to fly. We have almost 100 airplanes effectively grounded right now, um, regional aircraft, because there's not enough air, there's not enough pilots to fly, which means uh, we just can't, at the moment, fly to all the small communities that we would like to. Um, it's, it's really about not having enough pilots. It's a matter of getting adjusted to, I think, uh, you know, this uh, pandemic reality that we're all dealing with. And uh, uh, we're just, we just need to make sure that we don't overschedule the airline relative to the people resources that we have. And we've made um, uh, a number of adjustments uh, in that regard. As we're recovering and trying to get our schedule back to maximum efficiency uh, as we were uh, uh, close to a pre-pandemic, if you will, uh, there's a lot of opportunities to drive down. Uh, we're, fixed cost uh, industry. So there's a lot of opportunities to drive down our unit cost. Uh, but until that time, we'll have some inflationary cost pressures. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.